All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this HP model 15-BS015DX. So first what you wanna do is take out the uh, battery. So just slide these two things to the center and then the battery will pop out like that. You'll want to take out these rubber feet. All right, so just peel them up. I use my fingernails. You can use a pry tool or whatever. All right, just pry them up just like that. So I already took the screws out from the bottom, um, but I'll just show this process. Okay. So if some of that adhesive stays in there, that's fine, um, as long as you can get to the screws. Okay. So here we go. So we will remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Once you remove those ten screws, um, I believe this one screw is the only one holding the CD drive in place. Yep, so after you remove that screw, you can take the CD drive out. If you wanted to change this to a hard drive caddy or something like that, you can do that. Add a second hard drive. All right, once you do that, um, you probably want to make sure there's no USB devices or anything stuck in there. All right, so we'll set that aside. All right, once you do that, I like to have the screen open slightly. Um, this one has actually the hinges broke and I had to epoxy them together. But basically to get the cover off, um, you get your fingernail between this layer and the palm rest. Okay. And then since the thing is that way, I use my fingernails to dig into the gap and then I push with my thumb on the back. So that's how you would pop the cover out. So here you can hear the cover popping out. All right. And then you just work your way all around the whole case. Okay. All right, once you get some of it up, then you can put that down. All right, and then you can go all the way around. And then once you get all of that, you can lift this cover up and wiggle it, and it'll come out just like this. All right, so that's how you get the cover off there. All right, so this, um, let's see here. Okay, I don't need to flip it. So here you have the hard drive cable. Then you got the cable here for the optical drive. All these connectors, they come out just by flipping up the little levers like this, and then you can just pull it out. I'm gonna leave them in place. Um, all right, it looks like there's an M.2 SSD slot here. I'm not sure why um, they have the slot, but they didn't use it. I don't know if it supports uh, NVMe PCIe cards or just the regular SATA ones. For that, you'll have to look it up online. Um, anyways, you got this cable here going underneath all the way to this um, USB port and the uh, LEDs. Um, then you got the hard drive. It's held in place with this one screw. Once you remove the one screw, you can lift it slightly and wiggle it out. So if you want to upgrade this to a two and a half inch SATA SSD, you can do that as well. All right. So I don't know. Maybe I should just show it because some people might be confused. But um, take the one screw out. All right, lift it slightly and you can wiggle it out just like this, okay? So you do have to transfer over this metal bracket so that the hard drive can be held in place securely, okay? Then you got the um, touchpad buttons connector, connects here and this, uh, this board connects to the touchpad, okay? Then you got, of course, the SATA connector is also removable separately. There's two screws holding it in place, so if something ever happens to this connector, you can replace it. Um, then we got the RAM here. So the RAM is uh, PC4 2400T, so DDR4 memory. Make sure you get the same, um, the same type if you want to add a second stick um, and take advantage of the DDR2, or not DDR2, sorry, dual channel memory. All right, you got the CMOS battery here. This is a very common CMOS battery type that's used in a lot of desktops and other laptops. Um, to remove that, you would just push this in and then you can pop it out. I don't want to pop it out because it'll reset their CMOS or their BIOS settings, okay? The um, CPU is soldered down to the board so you can't upgrade it. Then you got this one connector here. I'm not too sure what that's for. I think it's the power button. Let me see if I open this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure oops, I'm pretty sure that's for the power button. So I want to make sure these stay in place. Okay. 
So the fan actually has a screw that's hidden underneath this cable. And then um, this screw is, I think, held in by the case itself. Let's see here. Huh. Actually, somebody might have opened this before because it's missing a bunch of screws that I've, I haven't touched. So there's a screw missing here and a screw missing here. Um, so if you do um, work on this computer, just know you might have some extra screws that this one's not showing. Um, I think they also peeled this. It looks like somebody messed with this. Um, if you mess with the LCD cable, make sure that you um, hold the power button for about 15 seconds after removing the battery just to be safe, drain any power. Um, then also you got the wireless card here with one antenna that just pops up. So the wireless antenna, the LCD connector, and the DC jack um, charging port um, all go under this, are routed under here. So if you do need to replace the charge port, the connector's right there. Um, then you got the speakers, two speakers towards the bottom. They're connected by this one wire, and then they connect to the main board here. Okay, so there's not much else to this device. Um, I will show um, kind of what I did for the hinge repair. This isn't something that... Um, people can kind of just do on their own. If you do attempt it, you're probably gonna end up making your computer worse. So I don't recommend you trying this, but I will show you um, kind of, if you were to replace the entire hinge assembly or the, um, the bezel, the screen cover and everything, then you can go ahead and attempt this. But if you're going to try and um, do it the way I did it, I highly advise against attempting this because I'm most people will screw up their computer if they try and do this so let me put these screws back in just to have it hold a bit better All right. um, this will help also with screen replacement if for some reason you need to replace the screen so if you're not really 